Hi, I'm Al and I work for Conway's Do It Best and we're going to talk about cleaning up brushes today. Before you can clean out a brush though, you just got to get it full of paint. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Every brush has a area inside it, or sometimes two areas inside it, that are open. That's a reservoir for paint. So when you begin to paint, you want to make sure that reservoir gets full. And the way you do that is to dip the brush down in the paint, clear up to almost a half an inch from the ferrule here. So dip it all the way down like that and then have a piece of cardboard nearby and you squeeze the brush down like that and that will void the air out of that reservoir and it will load it up with paint when you paint with a brush or a roller, you can paint in any direction at all, up, down, left, right, whatever the surface needs are. But when you're done in an area that's reasonably uh, large, like, you know, a, your wingspan, we'll say, then when you're done that area, you want to come back and very gently, after you've exhausted the paint out of your brush, you want to come back very gently and stroke it like this. Now you don't want to turn the brush over and stroke it and then turn it back like this. Keep it going all one direction. This is an angled sash brush, good quality, and that makes a difference too. And what this does is it gets all the paint flowing in the right direction so you won't see any brush marks through it. If when you're doing this, you happen to get lines on either side of the brush, that's because either you left too much paint in the brush or because uh, the, uh, you're pressing too hard when you're doing that. Okay. Now we're going to pause a second and we'll see about cleaning the brush out. The wonderful thing about latex or acrylic paints is that they're water soluble. So all we need is a sink and water. So what we're going to do is get as much of this excess paint off the brush as we can by just running water over it and then doing a splish splash in the bottom of the sink. Now when you got a lot of the paint out of the brush there's still plenty of paint in there and you just don't see it it appears to be clean but it's not and so that's when you want to go back to that reservoir area and get the paint out of that can you see that down there okay so you rinse that out now some brushes have two of those see how clean we got it some brushes have two of those areas. I think this brush might have a second one. No, maybe not. Anyway, you do that until you've got every bit of paint out of the brush. And again, making sure that reservoir area is completely clean. You know, you probably had this experience where you painted and then you used the brush uh, to trim with or whatever and then you put it away cleaned it and put it away and six months or a year later you said you want to paint again and you go get your brush out the one that you thought you had thoroughly cleaned and it's hard as a rock about a half an inch down well that was because that reservoir didn't get cleaned out and that's it, it happens to everybody you know every time I tell this to someone I find out that they are, uh, have had that experience. Take a 
cardboard box or something where you got an edge and take uh, your brush and whip it back and forth over that edge to you knock all the water possible out of it. You have to do it this way. And once done, you take a comb, just like you comb your uh, hair, uh, not, a, not a brush comb with those nail-like things sticking out, but just a regular comb for your hair, and comb through the bristle until you get them all straight and smooth. Huh? Make sure you got it in there right. And then make sure you got it closed up properly. And then hang it up on a hook somewhere. And what tiny, tiny little bit of water might still be in the brush is going to come down off the end of the bristle, get into this cardboard, and simply evaporate away. Uh, and the brush is going to be good for years. I mean, a good brush like this is going to last you years. You're not going to wear it out.